Table all dusty, Josh. Because we're in a forge world. <laughs> Today we are unboxing Adeptus Titanicus, the Horus Heresy. Very exciting. The new box set. I know we said on the podcast that we're not going to do it. I don't think we said that. I think we did. I don't think we did. But guess what we done did? We did it. We done did it. So we are going to be opening it up, taking a look at the rules. Josh, of course, could not wait. He opened it last night, which is fine because that way we actually know what it says inside. I took the cellophane <laughs> off. Now, I know you did your homework too, so you can talk to us oh, a I lot did, about it. I did nothing. <laughs> nothing. How can I do homework? I'm going to buy another box set to get a rule book. That's right. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, they actually have a couple of different versions. This is not a starter set. Not a starter A lot set. of people think this is a starter set. This is not. What this is, is a bundle. It's a bundle. Um, Hold on, though. We're not ready for the bundle. Fine. Remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you never miss an update. If you want to take your patrons to the next level, check out our Patreon. All sorts of fantastic rewards there. Also, sign up for our newsletter at coolguysnation.com. And, of course, listen to our podcast, which you can find on YouTube, if you prefer the YouTube version where we record it live and you can see us. But why would you want to see us when you can just listen to us? Check us out on iTunes and Podbean. Back to you! This is not a starter set. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a bundle. Now, uh, you can buy all the stuff that's inside of it in a separate uh, bit. So you can buy like the books and the templates mm -hmm. in one. You can buy the buildings and Templates? Other. Yeah. Oh, we know about templates. Yeah. Templates. You're going to love the color too. Are they green? No. Mine are green. My custom ones are green. Well, these ones are really cool still. Anyway. Wait to take my custom templates back out. So the deal with this is that this bundle will not be recreated until at least 2019 after they sell out. So they've wow. already said that. However, we do know that... The, the rules for Warhounds and Reaver Titans are already in this box, so we know that they're coming. This one also, people say Titanicus, but it's actually Adeptus Titanicus. Right, that's what I said. Which means um, it might be a non-Adeptus. Right, and in addition, and it says the Horus Heresy is what it, what this says. So this is all old school. So some people are a little angry because they can't find their giant uh, Bio Titans versus these guys, but I'm telling you... It's probably going to come out. That's... If, if you guys buy this, they will make it a uh, guarantee. If you buy it, they, they will, will sell you more. We have the box. It is actually... It's kind of hard to open. Good. You gotta shake it. You gotta shake it. Like a Polaroid picture. So, pretty nice box. Hard, hard box. Uh, the rule book does not come on top. However, I perused it all night last night. Focus on that camera. Oh. On this? Yes. This camera? Yes. I perused it last night. Blue! Let's see what we got. They're blue. They're actually really pretty. Yeah. Look at that. Do you like those? Are these up to snuff for you? Yeah, they're nice and thick. Um, I will say it's kind of funny that they didn't use the giant explosion for one, you know? Mm. And it's just the normal old ones. Oh, let's see the date. Let's see if they printed more or if these are Something super Something I your fingers. No, there's no date there. You're not in the camera very good. Well, I'm in that camera. Oh, you're in that camera. Okay. No, no date? What no date. Right really? No, that's just a serial number. Huh. Too bad. Oh, you're thwarted. I'm thwarted. All right. Enough of that stuff. Let's take a look at what we got. This is for the Warlord Titans. Some, some sprues with different heads, different weapons. Uh, I don't know. How many sprues are in the box? I don't know. We'll count at the end. Um, so it just looks like different options and uh, weapons are on here. So there's definitely different head options. Uh, looks like there's two different head options here. Look at these missiles. Yeah, they're so tiny and pequeño. All right, so why don't you grab that? Grab it. This is the second of that. It's the exact same sprue. Oh, maybe the heads are for the two different models. Yes. No, no, no. There's there's four heads right there. Oh, there's four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, look at these little knights. Look at that. Wow, they're Why don't so you small. Bring that little one over there. Here. So this is that piece right there. Wow, they're tiny. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. 
Can you do that? I'm going to zoom in for you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, looks like this is straight up three nights on a sprue. One tiny sprue is three nights. But is it, is it complete? It looks complete. Oh, you've yeah, got some little bodies. You've got three saw hands. You've got a melta. Um, there's the Gatling gun, it looks like. Here's the back of the gun. Yeah, it looks like they're, it's a complete sprue. That's so cute. Yeah, I know. And then there's a second one of that. Yeah, so we can have... Second. Second one. And then... I'm going to pull this knight out. Let's get the terrain out of the way. Okay, we'll look at the terrain in a minute. Yeah. It's a lot of terrain. Oh, so it's, it's all cathedral. Oh, wow, there's a lot of terrain. There's a lot of terrain. And then this is something different. Leave that in there. Okay. So I count one, two, three, four big size screw, sprues and four little sprues to make all of your little buildings. All right. This is the next sprue for the uh, warlords that we're looking at. It looks like different art. Lots of, look at, there's a chaos. There's an eye of Horus. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Those are yours, right? Eye of Horus, yes. Uh, and then we've got the Mechanicum symbol here or whatever. Um, Yes, this is totally awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful. You get two of those. One for each night, I see. One for each night. Next. Oh, this is where we get the nitty gritty here. This looks like to be the legs and torso of uh, the Warlord Titan. Man, look at this foot compared to that knight that we yeah. looked at. That's pretty big. Look how detailed these are, though. Look at this little, like, last cannon. It's amazing. It's really pretty. Yeah, that's super cool. I wonder if it's going to be fun to paint. Uh, it'll. I think it'll be easy to paint. Yeah, but everything's easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if we take, let's take a look at this. Yeah, let's look, I want to look at the base. Let's 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 compare the base sizes. Yeah. Just so so just it's we get, definitely smaller than a knight. Definitely smaller than a knight. Yeah. So it's like like three quarters. Yeah. Three quarters, I would say. What about the bases for the even smaller ones? So um, they are in. Oh, they're like they're like primary bases. Forty millimeter bases. Oh wow. Yeah, Forty millimeter. That's half the size. I thought everything was gonna be twice as big as that. No. Interesting. There you go. I'm so, actually more excited about it now that it's smaller than I thought it was. Oh yeah, it's tiny. It's cool. Um, so uh, we were talking about the paint scheme. I wanted to grab me this guy. Yep. Here you go. So this guy I painted up, uh, and. All I did was, uh, with, with the armor plates on, I just uh, did a layer of uh, copper, and then uh, I dry brushed it two layers of silver, uh, and then I just put a flat yellow mm -hmm. on everything, um, and then I washed it and then did some battle damage. I could do the same thing with this, and it will take half the time because it's half as big. True. Yeah. So I'm going to be painting, oh, by the way, this is going to be my half. It actually, it actually won't take you half the time. Okay. You don't think so? No, because surface area isn't linear with size and volume. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it will take me half his time. I'm going to make sure it happens. Um, okay, so those are all of the pieces of the actual knights. We have this sprue here, which what is... is this is all the tokens that move on the trackers. Oh. These look like uh, the objectives. They actually printed... Oh, like cast tokens. Well, they're not actually tokens. They're like pips that go into That's really the thing. Cool, yeah, uh, and there's two different versions. If you, if I believe, there's these ones here, and then these ones here. Uh, these are battlefield assets. So these are uh, little like macro cannons or plasma inductors or all kinds of cool stuff that you can buy with stratagem points uh, to utilize in the game. And these are arc measures right so these are show you your front arc your side arcs and things like that that's nice uh-huh um and this looks like a couple of objectives this is the first player uh turn i think it's like the titanicus opus or something <laughs> whoever goes first gets this i i forget what it's actually called but yeah it's like opus something um but that is uh to designate who is going first there you go very nice let's take a look at this terrain yes uh, so Aaron already took a look at this. So you're going to get four of these small ones. They look all to be the same. And then you get another four of these large ones. And you can see, looks like there's floors here. 
Uh, it's got walls, uh, and then look at these cool little like eagle things for the ed ends of the walls. Yeah, and it, it seems to be um, similar to the way the cathedral is set up now, where you can customize these. So you could actually magnetize them and then put them together in different orientations, but you don't have to follow the specific instructions. They're modular. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a really cool idea to magnetize them. Um, that sounds like something that might be a cool video for you to do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got right. a poster? You got a poster? Because all the G-dubs have posters now. And look, if you're buying this box and you don't know how to put it together, it, they tell you how what you'll need. Yep. Because if anyone's spending $300 on a box of something... You never know. Somebody could be getting into it for the first time. Don't hate. I'm don't gonna, hate I'm going to hate because... Don't hate on noobs. Uh, but look, at, there's your battlefield asset. Very construction. Cool. Very cool. Uh, you get a little book, Sample Chapter of Titanicus by Dan Abnett. Nice. So you can read that. That's fun. You know, um, I went to uh, Barnes & Noble the other day. Yeah. And I was in the sci-fi section looking for some new sci-fi. Yes. Did you know like a third of Barnes & Noble is Warhammer 40k sci-fi? I did not know it's that. It's insane. It's like, you just go down the row in sci-fi and it's like... GW, GW, GW. I'm like, oh my gosh, they control <laughs> a third of the sci-fi market in Barnes & Noble. That's cool. Um, ruler. I don't think I've ever used any of these rulers that we've No, now we have, a, we have a dozen of them. Yeah. Um, what is this? I don't know. This is, it looks like it's a, a quick reference guide. Quick reference guide. These are the different orders. So uh, it has a round submarine. Uh, and then the orders are actually like the more advanced rules. So you only would use these... Uh, if you're playing the advanced ones, uh, but it says how, what you need to repair. Um, it talks. It has a smash deck. This is great. This is exactly what you want. Um, one of the cool. We'll, I, we'll talk about this when I talk about this. This is really exciting to me. Yes. You could put those on Space Marines because they're so small. You could, but then it would look really strange. No, it'd be amazing. All of these are great. These are great. Yeah, those are super cool. Those are amazing. You know, I've never used transfers before. That's big. Dices. Dice. Now, brown, brown dice. Now, I've heard that these dice roll wonky. We'll have to test them before we end this should we video. Drop, should we drop them in some water? <laughs> we could, actually. <laughs> we might have a beaker full of water to test them out on. Um, but they're supposed to roll wonky. There is a D10 because that's actually... Oh, there's a couple of D10s. You roll D10s for initiative in this game? Interesting. Uh, and then, actually, if you get a super powerful weapon, instead of rolling a D6 for your armor pen, you'll roll a D10 for your wow. armor pen. Uh, next, these are the stratagems, it looks like. Um, so this has uh, all the different stratagems that you use before the game starts that you can kind of put down and utilize. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, these are the weapon cards. So on one side, it has the information that you need to attack with the weapon. On the other side, it tells you how to repair that damaged weapon. Mm. So it gets flipped over. These are the... Uh, what are they called? Data card, data slates? D data slates, I don't know what they actually call Terminals, I think they actually call Terminals, called. yes. Um, so these are the night ones. Um, and then underneath, you'll see... You just pop that up. open. Pop it open. I hate opening these on camera because... Because you can never do it? Yeah. Here, I'll you do it. Because I'll open this next one. Oh. Oh, look at that! Two reference sheets. One for each player. Nice. And then... We've got the instructions on these bad boys. Let's take a look. Look at how big they made these knights look. These are like twice the size of the actual model. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. One gun on a, on a miniature that's this big has four, four parts. <laughs> it's because the detail's high. Detail. High detail. High resolution. Uh, now this book this yeah. is like a book. We're going to have to photocopy these so we can each take our stuff home and build it. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that platform. Nice. It has like railings on it. Just in case you fall off. You might yeah. fall off. Yeah. It's OSHA requirement. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, pretty intense instructions. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, and then instructions for the buildings. Yep, modular. Yep. All right, show us. So we have our our cards, and you get six. 
Um, this is how you track your health and your stats. Now, if you look, doing. if you look here, these are Reaver type ones. Yes, I see that. Those aren't in the game yet, or they're not built yet. These are Warhound Titan ones. Okay. And this is the Warlord Titan. So you can see, they go in size order this way. So the Warhound's the smallest. It has a plasma reactor that only has four, uh, five spots, and the void shields are only four. Where the big guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plasma reactor areas, and then one, two, three, four, five, six void shields. And then you can see they can take more damage in their bodies, too. I'll kind of ex explain how this works uh, once we get into the rules. What are these? These are for the actual knights. They come in banners instead of playing like one at a time. They come in units of three to six. Um, and so they do have structure points. Uh, and then also they have their, their weapons uh, listed here. Uh, they do not have the same kind of void shields as these guys have. They actually have the, the, the ion shields. And the more that they have, the stronger they are. Okay. So that's taking a look at everything that's inside of the box. Let's go ahead and move on to an overview of the rules. Would you like to do that as a separate video or just continue it now? I think we should do it together. Okay, but as a new video? Or yeah, that's in, let's, just, we'll put two videos up at the same time. Okay, it'll be a second video. So we'll see you in a moment with the overview of Adeptus Titanicus rules. That is unboxing the new game. Very exciting. I'm much more excited about it now that I've actually had it in my hands. Um, but I still, I still hope that that it lasts. That's all I have to say. I hope that it lasts. You don't, you don't, you don't feel very confident about it. I think we should keep, keep this for the talking about the in the next part. All right, sounds good. Until next time, this has been Aaron and Josh from the Cool Guys Nation. We'll see you in a moment when you click on this other video that's posted at the same time right above it. Yes, because some people don't care about the contents; they just want to know what I think about the game. So uh, I'm not going to say until next time. See you on the table. I'm going to say until next time. See you in a second. See you in a second.